Hello everyone, we come back to my kitchen once again and today uh, if you can guess what we're making you're guessing right, we're making nachos today so basically as usual I make dishes with what I have in the fridge and today uh, my wife felt like one, uh, having nachos and you know what we're going to do is make nachos and I mean it's easy to make, you just use whatever you have hey there's no rules to food, you can just play with your food anyways So. You, you probably have seen this before we buy this from Casco. we're going to use that basically we have cheese, we have sour cream, we have uh, some uh, avocado here we're going to make our own guacamole right now we're going to make basic, we have our own salsa here and basically for the garnish I'm going to use, I need some something green and this is lettuce, I'm just going to cut it so thin that you, you hardly can notice it okay so let's jump into it right now. Also, actually, I've put uh, turkey into uh, the microwave right now, which we had some time back. Uh, basically, I'm gonna use that to have like pulled turkey on top of that. So let's jump into it. Let's do it. Okay, that's our lettuce, as you can see. Use that. Okay. Next we have these, basically I boil this whole, I'm just going to basically, mm. alright, can't wait, I'm just gonna, going to cut this up in small pieces right now. Mm. Oh boy, by the time I'm done, they'll be gone. to fine but that's good enough all right and those are also ready next our carrot wait oh yeah that's good So while I finish up cutting up everything, all the toppings, what I'm going to do is so turn off the oven because you want to preheat that as well. 350 is good enough, okay? Okay, so while we wait for the oven, let's get our uh, toppings, whatever toppings honestly you want, just get those ready. So in this case, I'm um, cutting up a all the seeds out I mean I don't mind them I know my wife doesn't care for those right now so I'll take those out So these are the toppings we're using right here right now and uh, next that I'm going to work on right now I'm going to put this on the side I'm going to work on uh, guacamole and also I'm going to work on the, the pulled turkey as well Okay, so the leftover turkey we're using right now as I said I'm just going to basically pull this apart hence pulled turkey so I'm just uh, that's what we have but if you have pulled pork uh, maybe if you have a uh, pulled uh, chicken or do a chicken breast and just pull them apart um, or I mean whichever you have one say works uh, there's no rules here as I said just play with your food as much as you can I mean entertaining yourself with your food make sure you can actually uh, enjoy the fact that you're cooking it and also enjoy eating it as well okay well let's see if this is gonna be any good mm. all right I can't say no. Okay, so the whole point here is to make sure you're pulling your turkey properly as fine as you can. 
like as closely as you can so as you can see I'm pulling that I'm pulling them as much as I can I mean the softer it is of course the easier or the tender it is uh, depending on how long you cooked it it gotta be cooked a bit longer to actually make sure that it's you can actually be able to pull it apart okay as I say this is was leftovers for us which uh, basically was one of the days where we made turkey and I kept it in the freezer I've just taken it out and I'm just gonna use it right now so and then next to this I'll be adding in the uh, barbecue sauce in here whatever barbecue sauce you have will do so put your barbecue in just make sure it's all smothered in completely in your barbecue sauce after here I'm gonna put it in the oven for a while while we're waiting for our um, the rest of the other ingredients Okay, so basically just using a fork, uh, squishing that out as much as you can. Well, it's homemade, yeah? So according to this for me, that's fine. What I'm going to do is just season this up just mildly, nothing crazy. I'm putting a bit of black pepper in there and I'm putting a bit of uh, salt in here as well. And I'm going to put, squeeze, in, squeeze in just a bit uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, lemon. Uh, lemon in here as well I'm just going to squeeze a bit of lemon juice in there not, not, nothing too much and that should do it I mean if you want to add anything else like sour cream or whatever in there you can do that but that is okay for us right now uh, the way it is like that so basically all our components are ready basically everything the garnishes and everything is ready right now we're just going to layer our nachos all right so now it's time to get the fun part begin basically let's get start setting uh layering our nachos and then move from there between cheese and the pulled turkey all the other stuff is gonna be mainly toppings because uh, again usually you don't want those things to cook uh, usually you want them not to cook so that much you just like a, a simple topping on the same top okay so cheese you don't have to put, to put too too much because you're going to layer this remember that so that will be enough for now because uh, I'm gonna keep adding anyways and I get my turkey as you can see and I'm gonna go around it like that I would say that's good and now I'm going to layer a bit more on top Just the two of us here so this is basically pretty much plenty for us but we're just gonna have to load it up with a lot of fun stuff basically to make it even more uh, delicious so look at that I mean you get all your cheese going so now is the top that's gonna put again more cheese basically before you head into the oven but first if I put more cheese I'm gonna get the rest of this right here and put I mean you can break this up a little bit more if you can um, make it more finer if the turkey was a lot softer it would have been a bit more softer in there but that's not the case but you know what remember this is your home food anyways so you don't have to be pressured by anybody 
besides it's all you and you're trying to make something creatively with whatever you have in the house you don't have to go out there buy pulled turkey or pulled pork or chicken you just use whatever you have in the house okay so as you can see everything is on there and next right now that I'm going to do okay, that's the two layers I'm making and now I'm just going to top it off with a bit more love in this case cheese I mean look at that all right beautiful okay now we're gonna go right into the oven at this point all right and there goes our nachos just put that on right on top right there Look at that beauty right there. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. Makes me feel like you want to eat some nachos right now, right? All right, and here's the fun, the fun part we've been waiting for. This is the moment. Uh, basically, right now, I can put on the toppings we've been waiting for. These are the olives we chopped up. You don't have to put them on if you don't want to. I mean, you pick and choose what you want to put on, what you don't want to put on. But we love olives. So we dive in just like that. And the whole thing is going on just like that. All right. And up next, we have the tomatoes. Uh, seeds out, cut up, and it's going on like that that as you can see ooh, oh, oh you know what these are the moments all right so next we have some um, uh, peppers right here as well those are all toppings again I mean go crazy if you want to no one's gonna stop you and I'm just gonna put some carrots on my side my wife doesn't care for that but I don't mind putting on carrots if I want to on one side like that it's about it and for color since I didn't necessarily have a garnish that I wanted I'm just gonna use a bit of lettuce which has been sliced up so so fine you can hardly tell it's lettuce as you can see so basically that is it now we're gonna go to town by just simply eating it okay so basically that's it. I mean we have more toppings here as you can see. Um, we've, get, we've made our guacamole here. We've made, well, of course sauce I didn't make that. And we have the normal sour cream right here. Whatever you choose to pick. And the nachos are completely ready. Okay. Alright so and it's time right now to test it and make sure everything's fine. If it's not I'm going to put in garbage. Just kidding. Um, here we are. I mean look at that look at that right there I have all the toppings on there I'm gonna make sure I have a little bit of a little bit of turkey on there now at this point I can say okay I'm gonna get me some salsa some sour cream just a little bit of that look at that a little bit of that oh yeah and of course a bit of guacamole right there on there I mean that is what I'm talking about. I mean, this is when you think and say, Holy Mother of God, God, when do you make this? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. All right, if this makes you hungry and you want to have some, check out the recipe. I'm going to put down right, right down there underneath and uh. If you want to see more, um, basically more videos from me, let me know what you wish to see. I will see what I can do about it. But as you know, my rule is simply I typically just get whatever I have in my fridge and I make something out of it, okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hey, once again, if you want to give me a call and say, Ronald, can I come by and say hello? You could. Bye guys.
Thank you.